Question 52. The subtype principle describes when one type may be substituted for another. Which of the following is true? I'm not going to read them all for you because it's just time consuming, but basic concept is this. A subtype, of course, belongs to a supertype. Well, think about it this way. Think about if you have a canine. A canine might be a lap dog. So the subtype is lap dog and the supertype is canine. And a wolf also may be a canine. Now we also have this other supertype, say wild animal. A wolf is a wild animal and an alligator is a wild animal. Basically, if you it, let's just read A carefully because A is the correct answer. An instance of a subtype may be used in any expression in which, it, in which an instance of a supertype may be used because the subtype must support a superset of the operations supported by the supertype. So in other words, the subtype's got to provide more different operations than the supertype does. So canine might be, you know, has teeth, has fur, but a lap dog might be lives at home. That, that's not necessarily a property of canine, but has teeth and has fur would, would be part of this uh, supertype. But these subtypes would have more uh, 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 constraints in there, more operations supported. Same thing for alligator. Alligator is a wild animal, wolf's a wild animal. Wild animal just means lives in the wild, but there's going to be different things there. So hopefully that, that uh, illustration shows you that the answer to 52 is A.